Welcome back to GNR Exploration Discovery, everybody. I'm Jared, the Jan the Jan R. In today's video, something I'm highly passionate about, I'm talking about some knives here and practicality of a knife, how many knives you should realistically own, and just how handy they are in different types of situations, all the way from survival or just everyday ordinary situations that they can arise. So let's talk about it first here. The ordinary everyday situations that that knives can be like used for. You think of them, okay, I'm going to use them to open boxes and stuff, though, your box cutter blades. You're going to go out and you're going to have to open up some boxes at work or you're going to have to break down some boxes and do but vice versa, this and that. Happens all the time. I'm not a big fan of a box cutter blade because that's where the practicality actually stops is at boxes. But then, if you had something like this dagger here, this wouldn't exactly be ideal for everyday carry, unless if you're carrying it for self-defense and things on those lines. And even then, people would argue that you would actually need a gun instead of carrying around this dagger. But people forget that daggers, that's exactly what they were designed for. They are a self-defense knife, and that's about it. Now, I'm not saying that you couldn't like gut a deer with this or anything, but definitely not something that I would want to try to do. My go-to would be my Mozzie Oak stainless steel Bowie right here. And I'm telling you guys, this is one of my favorite knives I own right here. And it only costs $20. Price does not equal what works best for you guys. Now, a lot of people argue that, well, price equals quality. Well, that's, that's true in some instances. But like this knife right here, full tang which just means that the blade runs all the way through the handle. Now you gotta be careful with this as well because some knives will center full tang, but it's not one continuous piece. It's welded together inside here to where you can't tell, but that also makes it weaker because it's not one continuous piece of steel. But that's all full tang means if you ever hear that term. One continuous piece of steel that is then formed and crafted around that and then the handles are inserted after that but this knife is perfect for a lot of things a lot of people would say oh it's too big for gutting deer and stuff though i i've used it for deer and fish and everything in between in fact i'm planning on buying several more of these just because this knife has been one of the best ones i've ever had now comparing that to just an everyday bowie knife or as i say the mick dundee knife here that's not a knife this is a knife this is indeed a knife, as you guys can see here. I mean, side-by-side -side comparison this way as well. The old Bowie knife, or people say them differently, it's Bowie. But a lot of people call them Bowie and everything else in between. But it's the, the batter's name is Bowie. So, these knives are known for their big size. Would they be practical to defend yourself with? You could, like, use them for that as well. But somebody that really knows what they're doing, something of this size, it would be actually really easy to disarm you with and everything. Something that a lot of people don't think about is the fact of the bigger the knife doesn't always mean the better. The bigger does not always equal the better in the knife world whenever you're talking about these things. Now, I talked about SHTF quite a bit. You should have a collection of knives in your kit of some kind. All the way from pocket knives all the way up to, to knives like these the bowie knives and even like daggers and everything you should have all kinds of collections of just various things and i own several knives myself i'm just using these three as an example for this video today but there is a lot of things though guys that go into this it's not just what you want it's what you need and that's the same thing like when it comes to firearms or anything for that matter in the survival realm get what you actually need not so much what you want like this right here it was in my price point back when i ordered it this mazio kit again that stainless steel blade and honestly as you can see i keep it clean keep it sharp and that's about the only thing that you can really do but see it has no rust on it like whatsoever because i take really good care of it whereas this knife i bought it used i got this at an auction as you can see, it's got some wear, it's got rust and everything, and it really needs to be sharpened to take that rust off the edge of the blade and everything right here. You gotta take care of these guys. They're just like guns. You gotta take care of them, you gotta clean them, you gotta keep them sharp. 
you just got to take care of all of your equipment this way. And this is something that, that a lot of people forget about. So they forget to put cleaning kits inside of their survival kits for their knives, for their guns, for everything else in between. But since we're talking about knives, how to take their wrist off there, it's actually really simple. I guarantee that you have the tools to do it. To take a rag and take some WD-40 and it'll take that rust right off of there. Or it should anyway. That's what you're looking at. And it should look pretty good. I'm not saying it's going to look this good because I've taken great care of this knife. I've owned it. I don't use this knife a lot. It is my go-to hiking knife. It's my go-to knife for a lot of different things. But this knife doesn't see a lot of use. But look what it does. It does get used pretty hard. So definitely going to plan on ordering some more of these to do a field test video with here in the future and put it through its paces and see how much it would actually take and be able to break like one of these but I tell you guys for the money Mazio makes some pretty good stuff yeah there's higher knife brands been to the knife works over in, or in Tennessee sorry not Kentucky Tennessee went over there to the knife works though down there in the Pigeon Forge area down there and it's the world's largest dive shop, over 108,000 square feet. I've actually got that video up on the channel as well. I'll leave the link to it so you guys can find it easier in the description of this video so you guys can see that. But it is just insane. That video does not do it justice. I walked around in there for about probably an hour. I could have spent half a day in that place because it's like, think about a huge jewelry store, probably the biggest one that you've ever been in. Think about it even bigger than that and just display cases filled with knives everywhere. And of course, they sell guns there and they sell ammo and they sell all kinds of other stuff there. But I actually had some pretty good prices on ammo stuff though. Two, two, three rounds. Fantastic price on that ammo. If you're ever in the Pigeon Forge area, go check it out, guys. I did not know that it was there, but you'll see all kinds of advertisements for it. Smoky Mountain knife works in the pigeon forge area and you will get there it's not actually in pigeon forge it's just outside there it's really close to the interstate it's really close to that bucky's out there as you go back the way and there's bojangles and stuff over that way too for those of you guys who like that kind of stuff it's, that's one of my favorite places to eat every time i go down there i go to pigeon forge about once or twice a year and i was always waiting to check out smoky mountain knife works because I kept hearing about it, kept hearing about it, and I didn't know how big it was actually going to be. I thought it was over-exaggerated. They don't waste any floor space in that place, guys. And don't worry, guys. They've got other stuff in there, too, but they got knives ranging from $299 all the way to $3,000 plus in that place. I mean, it is just utterly insane. So if you're thinking about buying a knife, go in that place, talk to them. They'll help you get on the right track. They have OTF knives out the front, knives there. It costs two thousand dollars, some John Wick style stuff, and everything in between. I'm also gonna leave you guys the link to this knife in the video description down below, so you guys know exactly what this knife is. Back when I bought it, it was twenty dollars. It's gone up like everything else, so that's just the way it is. But you guys like want to check these check these knives out closer? Order them on Amazon, or you can find them inside of stores. Walmart's usually pretty good about carrying some like Mozzie Oak type products, but I just ordered it offline because all the Mozzie Oak stuff I've ordered has been pretty good for what it is. It's not the top of the line brand stuff that you're going to get, but at the end of the day though guys, it is really a, it's it's good for what you're giving for it. I mean, what is the point though of giving $3,000 for a knife? And you know... That's good though, guys, if you can buy those higher end knives, because then they'll last you practically forever. Whereas this one's going to give out, and it's going to just be done like one of these days. And this Bowie here is going to give out, and this dagger here is going to break and give out like pretty soon, probably, as I use them more and more and put them through field tests and everything. But you just have to understand though, guys, it is what about. It is what you spend sometimes on these items because yes buying those high-end knives yeah they're gonna last you a lifetime and you can probably pass them down and everything but I don't know about you but I don't have two thousand dollars just to go and throw away on a knife and the key point is at a survival type situation and you need your gear it's more important to have five of these than it is to have two of the really high-end ones because you got to remember this, though. 
one is none, two is one, and really sections of three is what you need. Sections of three, and that's your best bet, is having three of everything, so that way you are perfectly fine, and your backup has a backup, and you're good to go. And that's all you really need to think about, like when you prep. But when you're prepping for things, make sure that if it comes to knives, if it comes to guns, if it comes to like whatever, that you're buying stuff that's the exact same, so that way you know exactly like what you have. But also test it, guys. I mean, you could get a dud, and that's the other reason why it's good to have three, because you could get a dud. It could be bad, but the chances of you having three duds in a row are going to be pretty slim. So there's a lot of things to consider when it comes to knives, guys. Consider what you actually need the knife for, though. Also, check out stores like Smoky Mountain Knife Works. They're not sponsoring this video. Mozzie Oak's not sponsoring this video. However, Mozzie Oak, if you want to sponsor this video, or Smoky Mountain Knife Works, if you want to sponsor this video, by all means, we would uh, love to make a more in-depth video in the future for like, for like Mozzie Oak and the products. If they want to send us things to review and test them out as we go, because we're going to be getting more back into that side of things here and testing stuff and putting it through its paces. And just kind of showing you guys what it is. And we're going to give you guys an honest review. But I'm telling you, if the Mozzie Oak product, if we do a sponsorship video through them and they send us products, you're going to get our honest review. It's not just going to be us saying it's good because it's good. But I'm telling you now, though, guys, the Mozzie Oak products I've had have been great for the price point. So check them out. You can find them in Walmart. You can check them out anywhere else. Also, you know. I'll leave those descriptions for Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the video down there, and my stainless steel Mazio Bowie knife. They'll both be in the description down below, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget that that contest is still on to where we're going to actually be giving away three K Bar minis. All you have to do is be subscribed and watch our videos and that's how you get entered in that and there's also five keywords which will be coming out again here very soon they've already been released but give everybody a fair shot because some of you guys if you do this channel they are going to be re-released throughout the videos as we continue to do this and that's all you got to do do you have to be 18 or older in order to enter the contest and you do have to be inside of the united states so make sure that all that is you because when we hit 10,000 subscribers somebody's going to win that we're going to go live we're going to have the drawing and there'll be other prizes as well though but those k bar bennies are definitely going to be some good prizes and everything but we're also going to be giving away some of our Gen R Exploration Discovery Birds such as these hats which right now this is the only one of its kind probably going to be the only one of its kind like this unless you guys like this style of hat right here then we can definitely have four of them made but right now this is the only prototype that actually exists as far as this hat goes and some other things along those lines we'll be coming out with some t-shirts here soon some hoodies some winter style stuff as winter comes on i hope so or at least hope that we are and everything so it's kind of an update on like where we are with that stuff um seriously though guys doesn't cost you anything to enter free Again, you do have to be 18 years older than enter. You also got to be in the United States. Also, in that same contest, though, we are giving away a $500 gift card for Amazon. That was what was voted on, and that's what we're doing. So it would be a $500 Amazon gift card that will also be given away in the drawing when that time comes. So you guys definitely want to be entered for all that. And be watching our videos because they'll be... Some additional ways that you can enter to have your name put in the drawing multiple times, but you can't do that if you aren't entering by watching all of our videos. Again, guys, subscribe to our videos. That's how you enter. Also, be watching our videos because we'll tell you guys how you can enter your name multiple times. So it's not just you trying to go up against hundreds or thousands of other people that are doing it. So there's a lot of things to be said here, though, guys. The contest has been going on for quite a while. A lot of people didn't really understand exactly what the rules were in it though no purchase purchase is necessary though guys that's not going to help your chances any it's just going to be a completely random drawing so guys at the end of the day though thank you for watching our videos we do truly appreciate you guys here the channel's been growing really great here lately so hopefully that can continue 
Love the community out there. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with Jonah Exploration Discovery. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching Jonah Exploration and Discovery.